Spence, let's go right to the final bucket from you late in the game. What did you see as the shot clock was winding down when you made your way to the hoop and found that layup? Yeah, so they were super aggressive. Like, they were trying to take away the threes because Jackson just hit a big one, and it's totally swinging the momentum our way. Um, so the, the lane was wide open, and I was like, <laughs> I think I went around like this side to that side, back to this side, and then finally I got into the paint, and I was like, oh, I know the paint's going to be open. So You close that out and, and do so in front of a raucous crowd that was feeling a, a little bit of anxiety because you're up by as many as 17. It gets to within three. So what's the key to trying to avoid that scenario where it gets close late? Yeah, we just have to guard. Um, you know, they got some rebounds. Um, they started hitting some shots and feeling good. So... It just comes back like we just have to guard, uh, move our feet, and, and rebound better. What was the message from Coach Pope and the staff in the locker room just a few minutes ago? It was great. I mean, winning in this league is super hard. Um, so, you know, this team is coming off a win against Kansas. Um, so to get a win here against them just feels really good. What does 5-5 five and five through 10 Big 12 games mean to you? Oh, it's great. You know, we put ourselves in a really good position. Um, in the next couple games we have lined up, you know, we should go out and get some wins and uh, get back into the winning column. UCF on Tuesday, now that you can officially turn the page to them and you've faced them before, what's the early scouting report on the Knights coming to Provo? Well, they're super physical. Um, you know, they rebounded really, really well when we played them down there. Um, so we got to, yeah, we got to rebound. We got to guard, same as always, and uh, it'll be nice to be home, hit some shots here. When the threes are not dropping in large part like they have so often this season, what do you do? Because clearly you did enough to still stay efficient on offense. So what, what's, what type of shift do you have on the floor? Mm -hmm. I just got to cut hard. I mean, um, when our shots aren't falling, we, uh, a lot of people have a tendency to, I think, get tight and kind of shrink the floor and not play with as much space. But, you know, we always talk about, hey, we have to play with more space and we have to cut harder and we have to screen more, um, get out in transition and get some easy buckets. So, you know, just attention to the small things like that. Well, speaking of the small things, what's at the top of the list as you get ready for UCF? If, if you were to practice one thing tomorrow, what would it be? Or on Monday, I should yeah, say. Rebounding, rebounding. Like, they have a couple big dudes that just, like, throw themselves in there and go to war on the board. So we're going to have to be uh, warriors on the, on the rebounds. Now, I know that a lot of your fans are aware that your wife is due with your first child in just a, a few weeks. How, how are things progressing? How's the family going? Great, great. You know, we're, uh, we're super excited. We're surrounded by a lot of really great people that, you know, if, if we're on the road and I'm not there, and uh, she's surrounded, she's got some family here that I know will take care of her. So just uh, super excited and looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to happen. The due date is when you're on the Kansas, Kansas State road trip, right? Uh, the due date is like the day we get back. So if it, we're just praying that it doesn't happen the week leading up, right? <laughs> Again, I know that's a few weeks away. UCF and a few other games before that, but uh, congratulations on another hard-fought win tonight, Spencer. Thank you.